everyone and welcome to my this week's video. Last week I told you to ask me any questions on Instagram or on YouTube and I'm gonna answer them in this video. But on top of that I'm also gonna teach you how to make the probably the easiest dessert in Finland. Pancakes! So why don't we just start with the pancakes? So firstly we heat up the oven to 180 degrees. And then we prepare the baking tray. That's, that's where the pancake goes to. Am I too close? Sorry. So instead of making a regular pancake, I'm gonna make it gluten-free. But this is way easier if you just wanna do it the traditional way. So feel free to skip all the flour stuff with wheat flour and... Well, you'll see. But let's start with the ingredients. What do you need for a Finnish pancake? Firstly, you need eggs, sugar, flour, potato starch, baking soda, rice milk in this case, but you can also use regular milk, salt and vanilla powder. And that's it, let's start making the food. But why exactly is this recipe so easy? Well, basically you just put everything together, throw them in the oven, wait for half an hour and that's it. I'll tell you the details while I add the ingredients, but I'll also put the recipe in the description below if you want to try it out. And feel free to experiment as well. Okay, time to bake. Okay, let's start with the eggs. So you need three eggs for this recipe. I'm just gonna try to put them there. Yes. Yes. And... As you can see, I'm very talented. Three. All right. And next up in the recipe, we have eight deciliters of milk. And as I said before, you can also use regular milk, but I'm using this rice dream rice milk to give it a bit more flavor. And also because we don't drink milk, basically. Let's put eight deciliters of that there. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, and eight. So next up we have the flour. So let's start with oats. So three deciliters of oat flour, then one deciliter of rice flour, so the pancakes don't taste like porridge. Here we go. And finally, one deciliter of potato starch. Yes. Then a teaspoon of salt. There we go. A teaspoon of baking soda. There we go. And this is my own preference, but I like to add like half a teaspoon of vanilla powder. There we go. One tablespoon of sugar. Let's put a bit more. And now we just basically mix this up. Now that this is mixed, we're just gonna pour it on the baking tray, put it in the oven and wait. So if you're doing this, make sure the batter is spread evenly on the baking tray, so it will also cook or bake evenly. Let's put this in the oven and I shall answer some of your questions. Now that our little baby is in the oven, let's answer some questions. You have no idea how much trouble I just went through to do all of that. By the way, you know when the pancake is ready when it's like golden brown? You know, like beautiful color of a... You 
you know the pancake is ready when it's golden brown. It might take a little bit more or less time depending on your oven, so make sure you keep an eye on the pancake. But hey, let's look at the questions now. When are you coming to England, boy? No idea. At some point, definitely. And I will make sure to let you know when we do. How did you guys meet? I presume you're talking about me and Yerina. Uh, long story short, we actually met through Facebook, we had a mutual friend, I asked her out, not the friend, and yeah, that's pretty much it, seven years ago. Conveniently, Yerina asked me, Yermo is the best, yes or no? Hmm. Yeah. What are your next big plans for a journey outside? Finland. Actually, next week we're going to Estonia, but I don't know if that counts as a big journey. Next big journey will probably be next spring, perhaps? I really want to go to Japan, for example, and who knows? We'll see. What do you do to relax? Best way for me to relax is definitely video games, but I also watch anime. I work out, go jogging, spend time at my parents' place in the nature. My parents don't live in the nature, but you know, parents' place and nature. Hi, I love your content. How would you describe yourself in three words? Easy, chill and open. What are your top five favorite animes? I spent probably 45 minutes today just thinking about it and it's hard. I came up with something, not entirely sure about this, but here we go. So my favorite anime series probably are Hero Academia, uh, Mob Psycho, Keijo, Kuzu no Honkai or Scum Swish and Tsubasa Chronicle. Have you ever been to Italy? No, I have never been to Italy. Which is your favorite food on earth? My favorite food on earth is probably lasagna. Do you think you'll get married one day? It's not like I see a reason to do that, but who knows? Do you like living in Finland? Absolutely, yes. Where has been your favorite location to film so far? Probably Japan. Thanks for the questions. There's a couple of more questions later, but now I think I'm gonna go whip some cream, because of course our pancake needs some toppings. So let's go make some toppings. Looking good so far. Let's take a little peek. Oh, it's a thick boy! For whipped cream I use just regular whipping cream instead of soy cream for example because usually they do have sugar and stuff like that and we prefer to use coconut sugar so I'm just gonna work with this. So let's do it. Thirty-three minutes and I think the pancake is ready. Let's take a look. Here we go. It's a thick boy. Is it ready? It looks ready. Okay, good. So now we're gonna let the pancake cool down for a little while and after that we're gonna put some toppings on it and eat. You can basically put anything or any kind of toppings on the pancake and this time I chose whipped cream, as we already saw, and applesauce. Since summer is already over here, even though it's a fairly warm day, it's autumn time and apple is better than strawberry in autumn. And also we have some maple syrup, so definitely gonna use that. Let's finish the food, shall we? So I added a little bit of coconut sugar to the whipped cream to give it some more flavor. And now we're gonna put the toppings and starting with whipped cream. Used plenty of it. Oh, you did not see that. So yep, plenty of whipped cream and maple syrup. Yes. And finally, applesauce. So usually I think strawberry jam is like the more traditional topping for a pancake, but 
as I said, this is more autumn-y. For the final touch, let's put a little bit of cinnamon for a garnish. That's too much. Oh well. And we're pretty much done. This? It's not for you though. It's not good for you. It's mine. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, that was a huge struggle. But hey, before I start devouring these divine grubs, Finnish delicacies, I'm gonna answer to the last comments or questions. So firstly, did you travel to other countries? Yes, I have traveled to almost, I think, 30 countries and some of them you can see on my channel. What is your favorite TV series you've recently watched? From live action series, I would say Handmaid's Tale. It's a great one, really depressing and dark, but it's a good series nonetheless. And from anime, I would say Dan Machi has been surprisingly good. I've really enjoyed it recently. What was your experience like to learn English and do you feel uncomfortable speaking it in your videos? I've studied English since third grade. I still keep studying it. All my devices are in English. I mainly consume English media. I pretty much only watch English YouTube videos. And yeah, it's like a constant learning process, so I still keep studying it. I've always been really motivated to learn English. I don't think I feel very uncomfortable speaking in English in my videos. Does it seem like it? I've used a lot of English, I'm pretty fluent with it. I have studied in English, even though it probably would be more natural for me to express myself in Finnish, I feel like I still prefer to do this in English for some reason. My only problem is maybe that I speak very slowly sometimes and it's really annoying to edit. I leave huge gaps between words when I try to think what I'm saying, so that's a bit annoying. But other than that, I don't feel very uncomfortable. Not at all. And I think that was the last question. Yeah. But before I start eating, I have a question for you. If you could go anywhere in the world right now, like any other country, where would you go? For me, that would be Japan, absolutely. I really miss Japan at the moment and uh, I want to go there. Maybe next year, hopefully. I'm gonna start eating now. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. I upload a video every week, usually. Without further ado, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Best flow... Oh wait, I can't do that now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start eating. I'll see you in the next video. This is actually really good. We're still here?